got lost and it's overcast so the GPS not picking up properly. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching. Are you ready for episode two of this road trip experiment where we evaluate if we are able to keep our expenses low while not compromising our experiences? So if you watched episode one, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. If not, you're clueless right now and wondering what the hell is Odetta going to do and talk about this time around. So let me shed some light on that darkness. So I am at this stage of my life all about experiences. But at the same time, things can be expensive when you are more into experiences and as such, you have to strike a balance. So the objective is to have amazing experiences or let me rephrase that, it's to reduce expenses or manage expenses without compromising experiences. So one of the ways that I'm looking to do that is through determining what's the best way to travel in Jamaica. Now, I am from St. James, rural St. James, and I still have family, a home and everything there, but I also spend a lot of my time in Kingston. So going back and forth, is something that's required on a regular basis. And what I've been doing recently with the opening of the highway is I've been using the highway religiously and I don't like the highway because it's very boring. There are no vendors on the road to stop with. So I'm now trying to determine, is it the best route to take? So last episode, I drove the highway, paid the ridiculously expensive toll, and yes, I got there in good time. However, I didn't enjoy the experience. I mean, of course I did because my family or some of us were in the car and we played games and we had great conversation. But in terms of outside of our immediate space, there was nothing to do. Today, we're taking a totally different route. So today, we're going home to my home where I grew up and we're going actually to get my mom and family members, my nephew, because they're gonna come and spend some time with me. But why not use it to share with you some of the best that Jamaica has to offer? So I'm gonna be vlogging the journey. I'm gonna be stopping at some of my favorite vendors on the street, but I can only do that because of the route that I'm taking. So today I am actually not going the typical route, which is, going uh, St. Anne, well, St. Catherine, St. Anne, and then Falmouth, and then Montego Bay. So I'm not doing that today. I am going another route. So I'm going through Clarendon, Mandeville, St. Elizabeth, which means I'll cross over New Market and drive through the hills. And then I'll end up in Springfield, which is where I went to all age school, and then I'll get home. This route has beautiful and amazing experiences. So I'm gonna introduce you to the best manish water or the best corn pork soup you can buy on the road in Jamaica. Roast yam. Of course, most of you know the pepper shrimp and all of that, but I'm gonna take you along for the ride and the experiences. And this route has two tolls. So I have a full tank like I did the last time. I'm gonna check the tolls which are significantly less and I'm gonna at the end of the journey do a comparison where I'm gonna evaluate on a few things not just the cost but the experiences along the way and the conclusion I'm gonna draw is which route 
to where I grew up or to Montego Bay or to the West offers the best cost for an amazing experience so I'm taking you along for the journey so we are now let me show you where we are let me flip this camera so you can see we are on the highway and we're headed to Clarendon first so we're on the toll and it's usually an amazing drive because you get to see the countryside and seeing the countryside obviously is not unusual because you get that on the other route as well but this one or this route has a lot more experiences When I was a child, I heard a lot that if the sun is shining and it's raining, the devil and his wife are fighting. We're approaching the second toll. Let me flip the camera and show it to you. So this is the toll that takes us into Maypen. Oh, them na raise this toll. Oh, them raise up the other one so much. Hey, hey, God, we are eight hundred and eight dollar. I couldn't believe. Me glad I keep that one here price low though. I'm grateful. Have a blessed day. Thank you, dear. So that was the second toll booth. So now we are going into Clarendon. All right, so we're approaching our first stop and you know, you have to eat in order. So you have to get the appetizer first, the belch of the gas off our chest. So we get in the soup first and then we can take it from there. Write in the comments where you think I'm gonna stop. Again, the clue is I'm in Clarendon it's the best place, in my opinion, in Jamaica to get manish water or corn pork and they rotate the soups depending on the day of the week and it's again in Clarendon. So put it in the comments and let's see who gets, who gets it right. sure you have figured out where the stop is by now and of course we're at Fireside in Clarendon so let's get our order in and while they're placing the order I'll give you a quick tour because I'm a regular here or so I want to think and then we'll get on our way So let me give you a quick tour to show you the extent to Fireside. So if you're ever in this vicinity, you can stop by and have an amazing experience as well and get some great food. Hello. I'm about to eat my amazing corn pork soup. Look at the richness in it. Let me stir and show you. Look at that. So I haven't eaten all morning. What did you eat? You did you ate something? You had fruits. So this is my first meal. Of course, it tastes amazing as usual, guys. So they didn't have manish water today. It's not manish water day. Today they actually had corn pork and chicken foot soup. But I struggle with chicken foot because if it's not 
you know cooked to the point where it's broken up and I can't identify it then I can't eat it because then it looks like baby's hands to me so I usually stay away from it unless it's cooked in a place where I know they're gonna allow it to be cooked to the point where it's broken apart so I can't identify it so but corn pork and, and manish water is what I know this place for so that's why I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna enjoy exactly that This is hot. So before we go back on the road, let me talk to you about what we're gonna do next. So our next stop, this is appetizer, as I'm sure you know by now. Corn pork soup. Our next stop will be the first course in our many meals so stay tuned for that and that stop is gonna be in Mandeville so let me see if you can guess which street side food or which I guess it's this one is not really street side because they have formal dining not formal but they have proper dining in the back the next one is definitely on the roadside so we're gonna have to eat that one in our vehicle but let's see if you can guess in the comment where our next stop is going to be and I said it earlier so I'll see who is listening and paying attention so put it in the comments if you can guess where we're gonna stop next look here I don't know if you guys know this sweetie you know it's a $5 for one of these sweetie here so my $40 how much my $40 can buy and some money in here Oh, you run out? Okay, so, oh, you know, I have no more than one here. All right, let me take the tree then. Thank you, let me give me Thank you. $15. Thank you, we're yeah. going for your water. So we're heading back on the road. We have had our soup and listen, if you could hear, I couldn't recreate the gas. But if you could hear that healthy belch, which is why I needed this soup to settle my stomach. Yeah, country me grow, drink tea and soup all the time to do this. <laughs> Come on, it's not country. But I'm feeling pretty good, pretty upbeat, pretty energized. To get on our way to our next stop so let me show you a little bit of the road and then I will come back to you when I get there but I'll tell you about one more stop that I just made and why I made that stop well not a stop because the fireside there's a supermarket there as well fireside supermarket why did I stop there Many years ago, I was traveling on the Rose Hall Road in Montego Bay. I actually had given a speech at an event. It was a huge event with hundreds of people and everybody was coming from that event. It was at, held at Rose Hall and heading back into Montego Bay and it was raining for hours while we were at the event and it resulted in flooding that was so bad that it blocked the roads for up to eight hours so you imagine we got stuck and of course we started to drive before we realized there was flooding so there were miles of vehicles blocked all the way to Falmouth going up for I know I was there for at least six hours so I can imagine people were there for 12 hours and of course you start getting hungry you start getting thirsty and it was still raining so people had to be locked in their cars some cars were running out of fuel because they had to be using their air, air condition to stay cool because you can't put the windows down and this continued for hours and this continued for hours and guys this is why I have a rule I have a lunch bag and a cooler that stays in my car whenever I'm going on the road especially when I'm going long distance I pack water and I get snacks and if I don't pack it from home I stop at a supermarket and pick it up 
just so I have it because I do not want to end up stranded anywhere and not have something to eat something to drink and something to give the people around me who are going hungry as well right and what I'll tell you is I also have always have a change of clothes from panty to everything in my vehicle at all times I have a blanket I have emergency equipment like lighting extra battery power and all that stuff and I'll share some of that with you because a lot of them we sell on go for but I'm always prepared for everything and this was many many years ago the road has since been raised and there's been no recurrence of that situation but it left an indelible mark on my mind to make sure that I prepare myself for a situation like that because I had some protein bars and some snacks and my water and stuff in my car which I typically have but it wasn't enough to share but we still had to share it because people came children were there I couldn't even drink the water because the kids needed it more than I did and I had the bottle so I catch set the bottle on the car trunk to catch some more water and you know it was hard I used my knife and cut it out so that you know it could fill up enough and we drank the water so it was an experience but it was one I learned from and I'm grateful for so that's why I did that supermarket stop just now and I encourage you to do it as well because you never know what's gonna happen I know my case is paranoia and OCD and all the other things that you can think of but it doesn't hurt to be to prepare does it So I'm sure you guys can pick up where I'm at. Yeah, I wish you could smell the raw yam or the raw salt fish. How it nice. But we're doing a quick stop to get some food from a place that I highly recommend. So we're checking Teresa. Yeah, roast breadfruit, raw yam, cook up salt fish. Right. And actual salt fish. That's right. Roast breadfruit, roast yam, sweet right. potato. Here, fresh fruit here. Some breadfruit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice, Teresa. Yeah. All right. Just put some butter on it. Some butter she found it. Yeah. All right. Just grab it up in it. Check out the corn. Look in the oh, corn. Oh, yes. Nice corn soup. When last one I see corn soup, will look this good. Look, look at the corn soup. Look at that. Eh? My God, we can't wait. I like the yellow one over yeah, here, so yeah, yeah man. Yeah. So like, like the one there, yeah man, give me the one there. We're at Melrose, Manchester, and I just showed you a video of the place. Every oh, time you drive to Mandeville, St. Elizabeth or anywhere you drive past it. So next time, just pull over. Get your corn, get your what your, your salt fish, your roast yam, your roast bread fruit, your sweet potato, and all your nice goodies. So this is Michelle and of course she's doing my roast yam. So nice. Oh my god. And she went butter it up in some chiffon. And then I'm gonna get a roast salt fish. Because we don't want a here salt fish here, so now we can get that at Kingston or anywhere else. So we get your true authentic experience. Okay, I yeah. see, I see. Uh -huh. Alright, so there you go. I'm just no say when you eat this is a pure salt, so you just take it out with it. Moment. Yeah. Salt, Every time you take up piece of meat, piece of yam to eat, mm -hmm. then you put a piece of salt fish with it. Uh, I'm from from Manchester and I'm going to go get rich mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I take over the merge from Parish to merge over with them. Oh, so we're going to make them and them and rain and make you. Then we're going to set up the place in terms of putting in a car wash and a jerk center and a kitchen. Oh, turn it into an experience. Yeah, giving you a reason to come here. Mm -hmm. So then maybe it won't be so hard. I yes. <laughs> Because I practically hand to mouth right now. If you don't mind, I'm going to eat you and it can't be going to eat your mouth. So, I'm just going to do something for you. Mm -hmm. please. Well, that's good. And I hope yeah. then don't. Then you can make a lot of Yeah, man. Okay, so you will be able yes, to stay. Yes, as long as we are working with the rules and regulations and the compound. It is important. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, guys, that's Michelle for you. So we're going to send by our head on our way. So stop with Michelle. Michelle is the first. When you're coming in from Kingston side, she's the first shop. 
So again, Michelle have the roast yam, you go up top, you can get the corn and the breadfruit. I needed to make a stop in Mandeville and of course I stopped and got lost and it's overcast so the GPS not picking up properly but I'm optimistic. I just saw some folks from what looked like JPS some contractors and they say I should be able to get to Spur Tree from here. So we're exploring and experimenting. <laughs> 